back to Mac Ventures. We're currently in Scotland in the beautiful Highlands. We're in a caravan club site, Benry. Our alongside Loch Line is just a fantastic campsite. Amazing views, I just never get fed of it. But while we're here, we thought we'd take the opportunity to show you around our van because we haven't done it yet. So we have our T5 transporter van which has been converted into a camper. Converted by a company and we bought it converted with a new conversion, but it's no six back. We've got we've currently got our so Van Gogh air, air away, so air beam awning, the Van Gogh cruise. And look, there's some um, strong traps. This is our porch area, so we can take shelter whilst doing a bit of cooking. We're gonna have a barbie tonight, hence the uh, charcoal we're gonna toast some marshmallows with the kids and actually have to catch the van. These are our three beams one two three and that's where you attach the pump. About 20 feet of pumps and it's up three beams and then attaches to our van. So here we have our driveway kit. So we slide that in through the utility rail and then the white um, eight clip, little eight clip, and that slides on and attaches, which means then it's easy for us to drive away. We roll this up and it secures so that the uh, it's not flapping and it's all secure while we're away. And then when we come back, what we do is our little trick, we pick, picked it up from someone else on another campsite, is we've put some plastic pegs down and a guy line, um, so that when we come back, we line the wheels up. We know where to stop, we usually put a stone or something like that, if we haven't got the chocks. So we know where to stop, so we're in the perfect position then to reattach the awning. So here we go. Inside our van, called Mac. Wipe the feet. Okay, so first of all, we've got a bench seat at the front. Uh, we wanted this purely so that we had four seats to sit down on when we're in the van because we've got myself, my husband, and our two children who are 13 and 11. Here we go. So to turn it around, you've got four bolts that screw to this side, to that side. You kind of wiggle it on the plate until it faces the other way around. So it's two, seat, two seats at this uh, front, see the driver's seat. And then we've got our two back seats there, which are for the children when they're traveling with seat belts. That is a rock and roll bed. And that turns into our bed, which I'll show you later. So to start with, we've got our two burner hob. Could have done with a clean that. And our sink just cold water on a water pump. We just put my cloths and things in there just to stop them rolling around while we're traveling. Oh, my funky couple of quid cl clock from Tiger that's a suction cl cup onto the window. I was really chuffed with that. Then down here we've got um, all our plates, mugs, bowls, there's breakfast bowls, dessert bowls, a tray, all sorts in there and our Waco compressor fridge and freezer section doesn't always, to be honest, the freezer section is most frozen when we're on leisure battery rather than on um, 240 but it's great for, for our needs it says then all our cupboards, so I've got wipes, foil, got all my cutlery Sorry, here we go, trays, and then I got more utensils in there. And then down here, we've got the water for the sink and um, just pots and pans, food, containers, and things like that. Amazing what you could fit in a small space. Up here then, extension leads, 
and some tea towels and sieve and things like that. And then down here, again, we've got food in there, that kind of stuff. Oh, that chocolate's fallen out. Okay, when we're plugged up into our electric on a campsite, we use an electric kettle rather than using our um, our gas. This is our sun. It's quite a big one, but there is four of us. But it's great. It does the job. It's a proper camping kettle by Sun Camp, and we had to bring a Tassimo with us. So um, this is a Tassimo VV, uh, which we use for our cappuccinos and hot chocolates and things. I've only got the one plug, which is why we've got an extension lead. I'm going to keep cups and tea bags and things in there. And we've got our 12 volt cigarette lighter. This then is our um, electric unit. So we've got our trip switches and fuses. Uh, we've got touch LED lights. Literally, you just touch the. Okay, in this cupboard over here is my clothes. So there's two big shelves and I can get quite a lot of clothes in there. Well, I've got a whole week's worth of clothes there for myself. And then this is our games, cards, batteries, got battleships, um, battery chargers, things like that. Carry bags, just a storage shelf. I bought these fantastic hooks, they're magnetic from a website, uh, I think it was just magnets.co.uk or something like that. Really strong magnets, but it means I can use them, go through the carpet, it's already lined in the van. I use it for the tea towels or the head torches. They're just handy to have dotted around the place. I use these just for when we're traveling, I put over and then just the non-slip mats protects the glass but also i put our fruit bowl on there um, and just maybe some of the bits and bobs for our journey and it stops everything from slipping and moving around while we're traveling okay i shall show you the rock and roll bed next so to operate the rock and roll bed you just move the leaf to the side pull it out seat belts, and then it flattens down Quite easily, honestly. Yay! Mattress topper rolls out, just an extra bit of comfort. Then we've got our sleeping bags and pillows all in there. Then to unclip it, just a pull lever. There we go. Then the children sleep up top. So this is an extra bit of board which my father-in-law made for us just to give the children a bit of extra space when they're up there. It also stops their pillows from falling down the gap um, because they were waking them up in the night. So you pull down, it's on um, struts. To pull it down, there's a memory foam mattress already up there. So the two kids sleep up here. We've got side vents. And a viewing window. <laughs> so when they're not sleeping, we push it up and it gives us our standing room. Okay, for our pop top, we literally pull the baseboard down and then pull it down by the handles and secure it with these straps. And that's it. So we're currently in the awning part that attaches from the main awning to the van. It's as great as they're like a porch area. We keep our shoes um, washing and carpets and rugs to just keep our feet dry and things like that. That's good for you. So it's a barn door rather than an up and over door. We've got a tow bar because we've got a four bar, four bike rack that goes on the tow bar. This is our wastewater tank. And then under here is all our storage. So when we're traveling, we've got four camping chairs, two camping tables. We've got our chocks for leveling. 
keep um, our water tank in here, the fresh water tank. Um, I'm trying to think what else we keep in here. The pump for the awning, the pegs. Okay, in the back here then. So, got our fire extinguisher, which should be in the kitchen. Then there's storage there. That's a, like a canopy that should be sometimes used just for a quick stopover, shelter, we're out having a barbecue or something. Then we've also got down here um, some other smaller table. That's where the battery is, the leisure battery is in there. And I keep my um, pegs and things in there. We have here then a windbreaker, a straight of angle windbreaker. So when we're on our holidays, you always need somewhere to dry your clothes. So we've got a collapsible rotary line, which we should always carry with us as well. This water from the sink actually comes out. There's a small pipe under here. But since we've had these side well fitted about two months ago, the wastewater tank doesn't fit underneath, so we need to get an extension for the pipe. So that only came to light in the last few days. So I've been using my collapsible wash bowl instead. For the main camper van, we've got curtains inside, but for the front windows, we use one of these windshield covers. So, just clips on the corner of the front door, over the wing mirror. It's kind of like an insulation thing as well. Okay, some of the other things that we use when we're camping away is, especially this time of year in Scotland, little electric heater um, and obviously the kettle, which I mentioned earlier. I'll put the links for these in the description in case you're interested in knowing, finding out more. And also, this has been priceless this holiday, is our Ridge Monkey sandwich toaster. We've done sausages, burgers. Uh, breaded chicken goujons, we've done, oh, heated through some pasties, you can do garlic bread, naan bread, toasties, paninis, all sorts in it, so this has been fantastic. Also we've got our tassimo over there, that's a bit of a luxury item, the one we've plugged into the electric. One thing I forgot to mention is our table. We've got our table here which slots out. attaches to the rail. I use this then for extra workspace as well as obviously when we're eating um, and also when I'm doing washing up as well I can move it closer far that way. When I'm doing the washing up because we've got a sink we haven't got a drainer I also use this uh, like a uh, it's actually for doing the dishes, it soaks up all the drips, so I just lay that on there as I wash it, pop it on there and it soaks up all the soapy water. Thanks for watching our van tour, hope you enjoy, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.